Hey y'all and good morning. We're about to head to church. We're gonna walk and Marvin's shutting off all the lights. I'm walking now. He, you're walking now? Yeah. Well, good for you. Um, why? So, I'm not gonna take the camera. There's really nothing to vlog or talk about. So, I'll catch you guys when I get back. Hey, so fun news. Did I hop on here yet? Because this morning we went to church, but I did not take a purse with me, so I um, didn't take my camera. But I think I hopped on here and said good morning at least. If not, good morning, hey y'all. <laughs> Welcome to Our Great House Vlogs again, if I already said it. But we went to church. It was awesome. It was sprinkling a little bit, but not like we didn't get wet or anything. Then right after church, we went on the square and had lunch. And now I'm home and I'm working on real estate. So it's been actually a pretty productive afternoon. But my mom and dad just came by and they dropped off something for me and I need to show you guys. Look at what my dad made me. Is this not cute? So the space that right here, this space right there is a small space as far as like depth like, you know, right here. And I could only have a table that was about eight to 10 inches because the door. Like I didn't want the door hitting it. If it came out too far, I, I didn't want it to feel really crowded right here. Also, I didn't really want it extending too much further past the edge right here. So that's what my dad made me. And I just asked my dad, I said, well, how much did all this cost? And he goes, oh, it's all scrap that I had left over. But I'm like, dad, that's like mahogany. Like the top is mahogany. And so anyway, so this is what my dad made. Now he did put two little drawers. They're not really super functional. I've got to figure out a way to make those a little more functional. I'm not gonna be storing much in there anyway, but if I did, you know, I need to figure out a way to kind of sand that or put wax on it or something so it'll slide in and out better. And probably gonna butt it up. There's a little bit of space here. I'll probably butt it up against here. And then I'm gonna buy a basket to go in this corner right here that uh, could just put like, I don't know what. I just noticed there's gray paint on the door. Huh, what do you know? Anyway, so, that's that. I'm super pleased with it. I love it. It looks so good and my dad made it. So that's like a double positive plus in my book. And so what I'm working on today, I'm working on Kennedy's contract, Kennedy and Bradley, because they're buying a house out in Terrell and we're working on the repairs amendment. And there's a little confusion about the inspections that were being done. But anyway, I think we've gotten past that and we sent them over our request for repairs and we're going to see what they're going to counter or if they're going to counter it all and see what happens um then the other daughter that we showed houses to yesterday as well is um thinking about what she wants to do she kind of wants to make an offer so i sent over just a text really quick to that agent and said hey tentatively i have some clients that are interested but it would be a contingency so what do you want to do we are will your seller accept a contingency it's been on the market for quite a long time, so I don't know why they wouldn't. It's been on the market for like 290 days. So I'm not sure why they wouldn't accept a contingency, but you know, we'll have to see. But a contingency presents its own risks, to be honest. So the next thing is, um, the cat's already, get off. I don't know how I'm gonna keep them off. Don't want them to break it. Don't want them to mess it up. Anyway, so then the next thing I'm working on, I've got to circle back with my other client that I showed rental houses yesterday morning because if you remember she's considering buying now so i need to know if i need to start looking for her and then i had a guy that's looking for just like raw land because he he does a garden <laughs> and he sells the the produce to like restaurants so um he found a property randomly and um he wants to know if they'll take a cash offer so we'll see about that hmm <sighs> what else what else can't think of anything else. I was working with somebody else too. Oh yeah, Kate, but the uh, seller for that house won't be back in town just yet. And I think it, the, the agent will be back in town tomorrow so I can touch base with her and find out what the status is and if they're already working any deals or anything like that and just kind of figure that all out. So 
working on real estate stuff and I'm editing videos. So be sure and check out my channel. If you've missed some of the videos in the past, they're up there. I'm, I'm pumping them out and I'm going to get back to work and it's hot outside. Marvin is almost done with the front yard and well, he did already do the backyard, but he's cutting the grass and I swear the humidity out there is like a thousand percent, maybe a thousand and, and 279. I don't know. It's really hot out there and he's like dripping sweat. So I've taken him water and power aid. And when he comes in, he's going to take a cool shower and I'm going to have him lay down and just like relax because he's worked a lot last week too. So, okay. Anyway, I'm rambling. I'll talk to you guys in a bit. I'm cooking dinner. Um, I've actually already made it. This is pork chops. I added diced onions, um, garlic, fresh garlic, salt, pepper, a little bit of seasonal. I'm also making rice and just in it, in, in it, instant minute rice. And I'm gonna get some soy sauce out for myself. <clears throat> Marvin will probably just eat it with his pork chops. And that's gonna be din din tonight. I'm waiting to hear back from the other agent about the offer that we put in. They will take a contingency on one property. And now I'm trying to see if she's responded to our repairs, request for repairs on another property. Let's see what she said. Hold on. The guy that they are buying. So the one house that we're waiting on the request for repairs amendment to see what they say. He is a fireman that one of the sellers is a fireman and he's at the fire station today. So he may or may not be able to really call and talk it through. So, um, which kind of hate, but you know, I many it is what it is. He, that's what he does. So it may not be until tomorrow before we find out anything. But, um, everything else is going fine. I'm just flipping over the uh, uh, pork chops so we'll get in the butter and the onion and the garlic. And yeah, getting ready to do dinner. So now it's 7-11. Hey, 7-11. Did you know, by the way, did you know that on 7-11 um, of this year, you could go to 7-11 or most participating 7-11s and get like a little small sample of a Slurpee for free? maybe a bigger size i don't know but i think it's just like a small like a little tiny small size but hey it's fun uh that's just a fun fact and so i'm hoping to get some more done in this office space because i have all of my like collectibles if you will those are a lot of the knickknacks that i had in my office at the house at the other house and um so anyway what i'm trying to do is get all this stuff like out so I can see it and start putting decor places. And maybe when my friends come over, they can go, oh, Lisa, you should absolutely put this over here. And I'll go, okay. Because um, what I'm thinking is, I wanna get this space like really done in the next month because I wanna start doing some like other filming, like uh, regular videos, not just vlogs. So I'm um, like do some DIY, some crafting and stuff because I love to do it and why not, right? So if I'm sitting here and filming, this is gonna be the backdrop and that's not necessarily a bad backdrop, but I don't know. I mean, if I could make it like cute styled on the shelves, but also another option is for me to use, where is it? Like this wall here, like this wall as a backdrop. And that's kind of plain, kind of like this, but then that glare right there, I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, if you have thoughts on that, leave me a comment below and let me know. But I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here. I need to text back my client that they're going to be able to take a contingency on that one property to see what kind of offer they want to make. And then number two, I need to text back or call back my other client that was waiting on the repairs request amendment to see what they wanted to negotiate and call her back and let her know that, hey, psh, we're not uh, probably not going to get an answer tonight. So War she's a warrior. So <laughs> I'm sure she's going to be worried, but I mean, it is what it is. It's how that this process usually works and just kind of hurry up and wait. And then I'm going to eat dinner with my hubby and get some more vlogs done and edited and uploaded. I've done several today, I think three today so far. And I've still got plenty of time to do at least two or three more. So that's awesome. Getting kind of caught up. But thank you guys so much for watching. I um, really do appreciate it. And don't forget, be kind to others. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.